Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for AwesomeCast.net and the mini AwesomeCast. We're talking tech news here this morning, video game news more specifically with Marvel and Telltale Games in a moment. Uh, but first, please go check out our friends at BoldPittsburgh.com, SliceOnBroadway.com, two groups, two great tastes that taste great together. Actually, a little bit, yes, because one does food blogging and the other one is food that you can blog about. Uh, supporters for a while there, so please go check both of them out. And let them know you heard about them on the AwesomeCast. Uh, so this morning... Uh, a video game story caught my eye in the tech news. Of course, according to The Verge, uh, Telltale is going to be making Marvel games. Now, I am somebody who I've played a little bit of the Back to the Future games, and I have just recently gotten into the Walking Dead games, thanks to my brother picking me up both seasons for my birthday last month, um, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. On top of Riz over at InsertCoinToBegin.com won't, won't stop telling me to try to pick up Wolf, of, I think it's Wolf Amongst Us or something like that, um, that they did as well. They also have the Game of Thrones games. That seems redundant to say it that way. But anyways, this is exciting. I, I you know, we have, we've had so many renditions, you know, good and bad ones. I just finished the Wolverine Origins video game uh, based on the movie, but way better than the movie. And it's always been an up, up and down thing. Telltale doesn't seem like that he can do anything wrong with their style of games. Um, according to this Verge article that we'll have linked in the post here, wherever you found it, uh, Marvel Games creative director Bill Roseman said the studio wants to make an authentic game that, that feels exquisite and sexy with eye-popping visuals. So think about it this way. You know, we really kind of captured the brawling, beat -em up styles typically when we go with these games, right? Because they're like, oh, they're superheroes, so they fight and they punch things. But think about this. Like, how many times has it been more cerebral? Okay, I guess so, maybe not as many. But it's more the drama of the comics is why we read them if you are a Marvel fan. If you're a, a, a comic book fan, they can tell more of a story with this than fight, 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 cutscene, fight, 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 as, again, we typically get in video games. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what how they spin this. So I'm really looking forward to this. What do you think about Telltale taking over the Marvel games? Do you kind of wish they took on DC instead? Uh, what's your take on this? Let us know in the comments. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or this feed on iTunes. And uh, I think we're over on Stitcher by now, somewhere around there. And uh, you can let us know what you think at AwesomeCast on the Twitter. I'm at Sorgatron. And look up at AwesomeCast on Facebook and Google+. Plus. We're looking for your responses there as well. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.